Yeah. No, that's what he said. He, he just spoke to them. I'm just saying. He, he didn't receive a call from them. He went round and spoke to them. All right. Well, I'm living on our device. Okay. And I am going to shoot this officer. Give him a few facts of life. It's very long. And you see your colleague that took off that absolute desecration. Would you mind going forward to the bit where you enter the building? Bear with me. Up until I spoke to you gentlemen, I was trying my best to drop the camera and not get members of the public. And you will see from here, it's going to be a long video. But it's going to be worth it because you, my friend, look like an absolute buffoon. I stayed all within that area there. I sat down, didn't really move about. I did go to the room, put my, my, my camera through that, but it was empty. And it wasn't part of the NHS facility, which is up on the right through the other corridor. Didn't even go up that corridor. Okay. So you tell me when I am going in to somebody's private space, filming a private consultation. Well, that, that's what I'm trying to find yeah, out. Yeah, you've got to find out, and I want an apology. I'm not going to apologize. Well, you should, because you're a disgrace. Thank you, I'll you're take that feedback on board. Disgrace. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How long have you been in the force? Eight years. Eight years? Oh, that's a shame. Absolute disgrace. That bored of the job now. Get out, do something else. I'm, I'm you're not obviously bored. not fit for purpose. Obviously not able to, to do the job. You put hands on me and threw me out of a public place, civil trespass. You know there's going to be a claim against you. Not just a complete. Okay. That's now fine. you're liable. You know that. Yeah, and, and you you, you obviously liable as well. you, you obviously know the routes to go through for of that. Of course I do. 100 percent You're in for a shock. This could take a while, guys. Let's see what this tyrant's got to say after this. Mm. Embarrassment to the force. Embarrassment to the uniform, embarrassment to the country, people that fought and died for that flag that you've absolutely desecrated. You're a disgrace. Thank you. Yeah, thank you. See, you like that. The obnoxious response you get. The other officer in the corner just said, apologise, took it off. Does what? that offend you? Yes. You didn't tell me you were recording your body one video against, against procedure. So that's another complaint. Okay. You messed up big time today, mate. Big time. You fucked up. Please, please stop saying there's no need for it. No, I'll say what I want. It's free country. So you keep reassuring me. Yeah, but yeah, you seem to try and infringe on my rights, freedom of speech, freedom of press. You're, Everything. You're the press? Pardon? Do you have press credentials? Yeah. What's press credentials? To, that would identify you as right. a member of the okay, press. Okay, so what is a press credential? What is it? Do you have anything that would identify you as a member okay, of the so press? What is press credentials? Those are, I'm just I'm telling you, those are press credentials. Well, what would it look like? What is it? Well, it would you would know if you had something. It no, would, it would I, be I, something I, that say I, I work for this newspaper right, or okay. this news outlet so, or okay, this thing. No, do you have those? What about freelance journalists? Yeah, they would have something to identify them as a freelance journalist. Do they? A lot so, of the ones I've met. Well, have, they yeah. make themselves. Yeah, but something with their their, their business <laughs> on it, like a business <laughs> card. A business no, card. Like a something business like card. that. I might have a business card, but Could, I would can I have not, it? Uh, no. Oh, there you go. Okay. Why would I identify myself to you? You just put your hands on me. For all I know, you're going to start stalking me like you do with your wives and everything else, and your girlfriends. St stalking you like you, you stalk do. police yeah, stations. Yeah, 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 yeah. Is it a police station? Council building. Get it right. Well, you were around the back yeah, of the police station. And then I came out here, and you came out, big tyrant, want to get hands on. You're a disgrace. Well, come on, where was I going in the NHS part? Yeah, you've got to be here for a while. And all the while, you're an absolute fool. A fin of a man. Yeah, disgrace. Thing is, yeah, see if you're willing to break the easy rules, like telling people that you're recording them. What's to say that you're not willing to break the more complex rules? You know, somebody's giving you a bit of grief as you're putting them into your cell, you decide just to stick the knee in, you know? Quick elbow. Slam them down head first. That sort of thing going on in your station. Mm. No. Talk about a deer caught in headlights. I'm trying to watch the video. Yeah, yeah. I'm not stopping you. I'm making it freely available to you. You shouldn't need to do this. To it, it would be interesting to hear the sounds. I know that same council workers approached you a number of times. I yeah. assume. Hold on. What was minute, he saying? Yeah. Right, it doesn't matter, right? You've accused me of going into the NHS facility. No, I. Pointing my camera. <laughs> you did. It's on film. You accused me of going into the NHS facility, pointing my camera mm -hmm. into private consultations. 
doesn't matter what it said. Watch the video and you'll be proved wrong. And you're still not going to apologise because you're a disgrace. Well, out of interest. Ego. Your egos are just out, a disgrace. Out of interest. Did that guy ask you to leave? No. He didn't? No, he didn't. He asked me to stop filming and I told him no. Okay. And he said, if, he's like, if, he said, I'm going to take advice about whether or not you can film. If you can't film, you might be asked to leave. He didn't ask me to leave. Okay. So now what? Another one's stumped. You're a disgrace. Oh, I just asked you a question. Shut up, man. Am I not allowed Shut to ask you a question? Shut up. I thought Shut we were having up. a conversation. Shut up. Okay. Shut up. All right. That's fine. If you want to be immature, I'll just watch the video no, in silence. Fine. Shut up. You put your hands on me. You violated my rights. There's nothing you can say to me right now. You're a disgrace. So shut your mouth when you're speaking you're spoken to. Thing is, you don't like it when a member of the public does this, do you? Look at the way you've reacted. Big bully boy. Yeah? You might put your hands on people. You might bully people. You wouldn't do it without the uniform, would you? Quiet little corner. Big I, man. I actually don't enjoy it. Big man. Do you do it to your wife when she tells you no? Do you do your girlfriend when she tells you no? Huh? You try facilities, is that what you do? Someone says something you don't like, you put your hands on them. You know it's rife in the police force. Is that what you do? What's rife in the police force? But the, the things that you do in your private life. Beating your wife. Sexually assaulting people. It's all over the place. All, every single one of you need to be defunded. Deregulated, just done away with. Start again. Rip up the rule book because it's officers like you... What would you have instead? Shouldn't be in the ju- shouldn't be in the job. What? What would you have instead? Shut up. I don't like your questions. I'm interested. I'm talking to you. I'm, I'm talking o- to you. Dude. Honestly interested. If, okay, if you're saying okay. defund the police, what would you propose? I'm not your friend. What, what would you propose I'm instead? I'm not your friend. Shut up. Okay. Well, you, you're bringing Shut up a point. Shut up. I thought up. we were having a conversation. Shut up. We're not having a conversation. I'm talking do to you. Do you not have a system? Shut up. You do not have an alternative system? Shut up. You just want to defund the police and that's Shut it? Shut up. Yeah. Shut up. That's it? Shut your mouth. Just anarchy. Shut up. Anarchy. Anarchy. So where am I going to any NHS facility? Come on, let's so, have it. Yeah, so far it hasn't shown. Oh, yeah, it. keep going. I, I am. That's long. A Thank long you. Video. I stay with that area the whole time, and I still won't get an apology because you're a disgrace and your ego's out of control. And somebody needs to take you down a peg or two. No. You need to come out of the job. I've already told you the reason I removed Shut you from up. council offices wasn't I'm because of being questions. in the NHS facility. I'm asking you questions. I don't want to hear your voice. Shut up. It's as simple as that. Keep your mouth. Would you mind Shut. following your advice for a bit so I can no, just no, watch no, this? No, no, I'm a free person. I can do what I want. You're a police officer, interact with a member of the public, I'm telling you to be quiet, watch your video, yeah. take the evidence, and jog on. Just because you're asking me to be quiet doesn't mean I have to be. Okay, well, I'm going to tell you to shut up then, aren't I? Put your hands on me, you violated my rights, you've assaulted me, sir. If I'd done that to one of you guys, it'd be a whole different story, wouldn't it? you an embarrassment, look, what's happening? I'm not interacting with anyone. I'm not interfering yeah, no, with so far you're not. Yeah, so far, that's right. the whole thing. The only person that's interfered is you with my private business. This is a business? With my private business. Me going about my way. You Listen, try that for once in a while. Your personal business. Private business, personal business, whatever I want to call it. You know, language piece name. No, I was just trying to clarify. Well, who's having a consultation officer? Where's the NHS part officer? Huh? You're disgraced, and that's where you've messed up. It's the facts of your grounds that you're going to use to, to put your hands on me and check me I, I already told you that wasn't. The civil claim, massive. Yeah, I told you that wasn't why so, I removed So, you. hold on, the police are now enforcing civil laws. Is that how the, the country works now? The police now enforce civil laws. There are certain times where we do, do they? Do they? Right, law. okay, when? Well, trespass. We, we, we will remove people that are trespassing. Criminal trespass, maybe. Civil trespass? No, you're not allowed to. So now what? Yeah. Did you tell them I was in that NHS part? Did you tell them that I went into that NHS facility? No, I didn't. So somebody's made that false report. Can you clarify with this man that I did not go into that NHS facility? I can't. I don't know where you were. You were there the whole time. Oh, you're you're an embarrassment, mate. You already know it's a doctor. Several against the council as well. What? You already know it was a doctor that did that. It was a doctor? I didn't know that a doctor said that. You said it. Yeah, well, that's what the other... Yeah, you and your sergeant, sergeant said that. Said. I didn't okay. hear the doctor say that. So I don't know why he would know that information. What? Because he was out there the whole time. Okay. I was there the whole time. In front of him the whole time. Well, he he's just said you won't. It's on film, my friend. Again. Well, I, I the, can't see him. The camera doesn't lie. <clears throat> the camera doesn't lie. So... Okay. You're just making an absolute fool of yourself in the council. I'm, I'm out. 
That's what you're doing. You made an absolute fool of yourself. Sergeant James Hodson, 2673. Eight years in the force. You're a disgrace to the uniform, sir. You shouldn't be in the job. This is how you conduct yourself. Now ask the same question again. Is this how you conduct yourself in your private business? Someone tells you something you don't like, you put your hands on them. You've got that look of a bat for blue. My private life has nothing to do with this. All right. And I won't discuss it. Oh, but I'm going to discuss it. Feel free. He's nearly exposed. Did you know Wayne Cousins? See what he got up to. He's all at it. You're all at it. He's a disgrace. I feel sorry for the poor people that need to live with you. And again, guys, he says he's not going to apologise, even though I've, I've proved him wrong. Because he's a disgrace. His ego is out of control. And he's been knocked down a peg or two. I thought you, you framing this wrong. I told you I removed Shut you up. because you Shut were up. trespassing. Ask you a question. Shut My up. colleague is Shut the up. one that Shut said up. that you were, Be quiet. he had information that you Be were quiet, within the public NHS servant. Today. Speak me spoken to. I found that information after I removed Be you. Be quiet, public servant. Crown servant. Public servant. No. Yeah. No. Yeah. That might be worth looking that up. Is it? Yeah. There's a lot of things that you need to look up, such as your procedure around body worn video, procedure around police enforcing civil trespass, and police using excessive force against members of the public exercising their rights. Mm -hmm. But I tell you what, it's fine because that's why we're here. We're here to expose the scum like you. Absolute scum that shouldn't be anywhere near hey, a police station. It's not need to use language like that. I'm going to use it anyway. What are you going to do? I'm just asking you nicely. Well, tough. The way you've treated me today, you're a disgrace. So you are scum as far as I'm concerned. You're infringing on people's human rights, you're infringing on people's civil rights. You've openly admitted that if I prove you wrong by showing you this footage, that at no point are you going to apologise, even although you'd be proved wrong. Because I've told you, uh, what you think you're proving wrong is not the reason I removed you. So, I told you I wasn't in there. You said, can you show me the footage? I said yes. Well, you apologise once I show you that I didn't go into the NHS part. No, I won't apologise. That was the conversation. That's right. So, you're not going to apologise once I show, to you, show you that I didn't go into the NHS, although you accused me of it. And no, your colleague I, accused me of it. Well, yeah, my colleague said that because he'd received information from someone right, else. And you've, this, you've is, this is what an investigation uh, is. Investigation, right, okay. So they're saying There's one a, thing, you're saying another you're thing, and I said to resolve this, you can know, show us you this. You don't know what an investigation is soon enough because professional standards are going to take you to the cleaners, mate. A hundred percent. I'll wait to hear for that. Yeah, you will. You're a disgrace. You just don't like it. Just admit it. Take the, bar, the, the flag off. Admit what? Take the flag off. I, I don't want to. Not Thank part you. of your uniform. See, you want to bend the rules and break the rules as and when you want. It's Police not. Officer. There's no rule to say that we can't wear is, it. Is it part of your standard issue uniform? No. No, well, there you go then. But it, but it has been, um, there's, a, there's an, a, okay. an SOP within uh, the force saying we are allowed to wear them. Is it? Yeah. No, there's not. No, there's not. That's there's not. absolute nonsense. Were it's, you in it, on that email? It's, it, it's part of public information. It's, it's, the, it's the actual, it's the, okay. it's the other way about. You, you've been it, would told, be, it would be worth you putting in a freedom of information you've, request. You've there. been told to take them off at the public's request when you're causing offence. Are you supposed to be impartial? Yeah. Does that mean you're being impartial? That's, that's you the cause, union flag. What? That's, not that's the, the union. It's not the union flag. What are you talking about? That is. What colour is the union flag? It's red, white and blue. There you go. Is that red, white and blue? Are you colour blind? That's a, it's a negative of the flag. It's a, so what's the blue colour on it? Negative is black and white. Okay. Well, the, yeah, the blue colour is imposed over the top. As a remembrance so to police officers then. that have died in the line of duty. Right, what about the people that have died in police custody? What about them? No? Well, those have been investigated and dealt what with about, what about in the courts. Have they? Right, all of them? As far as I'm aware. Nonsense, man. No. You're an absolute fool. Uh, it's, it's not my special subject. Yeah, I've not looked into it. You're an I've not done any research. Yeah, but you want to wear that gang badge. Yeah. It's not a gang badge. Uh, it's a gang badge, you fool. In your opinion. Just shut up. Yeah, it's a gang badge. In your, in your mistaken opinion. In my opinion. It's those are the people's badge. opinion. And you'll soon find out, it's thousands of people's opinion, it's not just me. It causes offence, you're supposed to remain impartial. Your officer, round the corner, was professional enough at request to take it off because I said to him it was offending me. Okay. But he sure don't, obviously don't care about any procedures, any rules, any laws, because you're willing to just break them as a man, because you're a disgraceful uniform, you shouldn't be in the job. Go away, we don't need officers like you.
what you do is you tarnish all the good ones. You understand that? A few bad apples ruins the whole bunch. No wonder people don't trust you. No wonder people don't like you. Because that's how you interact with members of the public. You could have done yourself justice today. You could have done your force justice today. But no, you came out all bigged up with your little gang badge. Want to get hands on. Want to be a tyrant. You're a disgrace. I know full well that you've done things in line with your duties that you should have been locked away for. You know that? I know for a fact. But could you tell me one of those? Well, I just know for a fact. Look what you've just done now. You just put your hands on me, you've assaulted me. Okay, so you, you don't, should have been arrested you don't for know that. it for a fact. In fact, well, I do know for a fact. You put your hands on, on me and assaulted me. Simple as that. If I'd done that to a member of the public, I would be locked up. If I'd done that to one of you, not only I'd be locked up, I'd probably be beaten within an inch of my life. You probably wouldn't get locked probably up. Probably would, It would yeah. probably be dealt with wearing out well, of custody so I put, disposal. I put my hands on you right now, I won't get locked up. And push you out of building the way you push me out. That's what you say. Well, you might. It would depend on the situation. There you go. I but see. If you, if you, you, nonsense, your, if you pushed a member of the oh, public... Oh, you're chatting nonsense, man. You're heaving in at your ass. I found that you go have got very selective heat. healing. Go and boil your heat, mate. You're heaving. No, thank you. Yeah, talking shit all the time. Does your ass get jealous when I make a shit you talk? Does it? Anything yet, officer? No, mate. No, oh, muppet. Absolute muppet. The embarrassment, man. Look at the state. There we go. 22 minutes in. You know what you're going to do, because you've messed up big time. Stay within a public place, didn't do nothing wrong, didn't interfere with anybody's business and you went and put your hands on me. You messed up big time, mate. You messed up massively. You fucked up. And I know for a fact, the moment you see yourself on there, you're going to have that look in your face where you're going to shit your pants, mate. Uh, you're going to absolutely brick it. Don't even tell me he's recording me on his body on camera. Can't even follow his own procedures for the police force. Shouldn't be in the force, mate. You're a disgrace. Can't do the job. It's clearly a day. Like, you just simply cannot do the job. Can't do the simple things. Hey, he sat down, he's relaxed, he's taking it easy because I'm not being a problem, I'm not being aggressive, I'm not being in anyone's face. He even went and got me a cup of water, which the lady kindly put in the bin for me. Oh, that's caught on film. And then I even pointed this out to him. If someone's taxi badge left out. So it was a breach of DDPR when I realised there was someone's details on it. Should we take it away? Excellent. Okay. Some nuisance to the public eye, am not it? Look, all the people I'm harassing, officer. Look, look this threatening and intimidating behaviour. Go say something about it. I know you wanted to. I've seen you twitch. So you just seen on the film that I turned on that badge and showed that guy's information on the film which when he watches it later he'll hear me utter the words i will cut that out but as he will also see in the film i tell his colleague the council colleague that it's not my duty to protect that information when it's left out in public so it's a gdpr breach by the council i've seen his mouth twitch when i seen it little punks looking for any excuse but he's got nothing absolutely nothing because he's a disgrace I feel sorry for the people you surround yourself with that they have to put up with a complete ass like this. Look, look at any NHS facility I'm going into, officer. Look at the people I'm privately recording. Look. Well, you're look not. The concert. I know I'm not. I don't know what you're saying. There's yeah, no one well, that was your accusation, you and your colleagues. That was what you said. That's what my colleagues yeah. said. So go and fail, go and investigate the false police report. Actually, furthermore, I want to make an allegation. I want to make a complaint. About what? About, I want to report a crime that someone has made a false police report against me and I have evidence to prove 
Okay. The Who's baskets. that person? Whoever made that call, the doctor, the so-called mystical, m- mythical doctor that seems to have phone 999, worried about a man with a camera. They didn't. Go, no, that's what your colleague said. No, he said he spoke to them in person. So he had 999 calls, one of them was from no, a no, doctor. No. We said the yeah, council no, had no, called us. Well, it just changes it as and when it pleases him. You're a fool. You're a fool. Feel free to watch your own footage. You're back. a minute. I will do. Yeah, you're an idiot. Absolute buffoon. What a disgrace. Look at all the people I'm harassing, officer. Look. It's shocking, isn't it? It's a disgrace. Crazy maniac on the loose. Oh no. Help! Please, Thank you. come quick. Man with the camera. Who's all the people that are complaining? Huh? Who's all the complaints you got? You had several complaints apparently, Ella. People saying that I was har- harassing them, intimidating them, being a public nuisance. Who did all they, officer? Who okay. yeah. did all them? Yeah, you're a fool. That's not what I said. I said yeah. we had yeah, a call, shut up. and they had I, said. Listen, at least talk <coughs> since. I can only go off the information no, I receive. No, you're changing your story every two minutes. No, I'm not. You you're, you're changing my story I'm not. I'm not. to fit your narrative. No, oh, yeah, of course I am. My narrative is that I came into a public area and was filming. My narrative hasn't changed because it's the truth. You're changing the narrative because you've embarrassed yourself. You're worried about a civil claim that's going to hit you like a ton of bricks. I'm not worried. About Professional that. standards are going to take you to the cleaners. That's fine. And your feet aren't going to touch a the floor. They'll kick you out that building that quick. Look at all the people I'm harassing. Okay. Officer oh, Hodgson. Officer Tyrant. You need a shave, man. You should do with that moustache. Okay, thank you. The time where you just couldn't turn up to work. Unshaven. Look at the state of that, man. You sleep in your car last night or something. I mean, like, there used to be a time where there was a set standard for officers coming to work. Unkempt and unshaven wasn't one of them. Oh, what an idiot. You know what I'm going to do when I'm done here? I'm going to go and film all through the windows now. You know that? Why? Because I want to. What are you going to do about it? You know, nothing. Please don't nothing. record people oh, that don't. are trying to have go about their private business. Do you know what? See if you don't make a big deal about it, I'd have been in and out. You just want to make a big song and dance about it. Now I'm going to exercise my rights to my full extent. I can film anything from public. Anything I can see with my eyes, I can record. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go around all the windows. I'm going to get as many pin numbers, screens as possible. And if it's hostile reconnaissance, tough. What are you going to do about it? Nothing. You have no power over me. That's I would just ask you to be a nicer oh, person. No. no. Obviously, I'm not a nice person, if that's what you're saying. So, uh, I would have been a nice person if someone had treated me civilly, but you decided to put your hands on me and assault me. So that goes right out the window. You've infringed my rights. What part of that do you not understand? No, I, I understand your perception of it. You, right, you understand my perception of it. Yes. Right, but you, what does that even mean? You're talking nonsense. You infringed my rights. Not the stupid girl in your face. Is, how no, you that's, do, that's what is this how you would talk to a judge? Is this how you would talk what? to a judge? I'm not court? talking to him. Right, it doesn't matter. Is this how you would talk to a judge in court? Because well, that's the same standard you should talk to members of the public. No. That is, of course it, it would is. be very difficult to hold a conversation if I had to do that. Pardon? It would be very difficult oh, if I had to man. hold a conversation to do that. Shit. Look, there you are. Okay. Numpty. Apologise. Just apologise, we'll go about our day. No, I'm not going to apologise. Yeah, you I'm you not. were right in the fact that you didn't film the NHS facility. There you go. That's correct. Yeah, I was right. You were wrong. You put your hands on me for no other reason because you're a, you're a tiny tyrant with nothing better no, to I do. T- I told you that wasn't the reason that I fool. removed you from Shut the council up, office. Glory. Disappear. Okay. F or Fox Dot Oscar. What's, do one. what's your plans now? None of your business. How about that? I'm just interested. Well, there you go. I don't care what you're interested in. Piss off. Go away. Are you going to continue to film? I'll film whatever I want. It's none of your bloody, bloody, bloody business. Mind your own. Go away. You've already infringed my rights today, sir. You've already assaulted me. You've already made a civil claim for yourself. Mm-hmm. You've already got professional standards that are going to come and have a word with you about your behaviour today. You've already okay. not told me that you've recorded me. You've made things very difficult for yourself. Do you understand that? So go away. You're dismissed. See you later. Okay. Piss off. F.O. And so sorry, what, what are you going to do now? None of your business. You're not going to find out. Hostile reconnaissance for all you know. Then what? Then for, what you gonna for do? For who? What? Who then you, what you gonna who do? Who are you carrying out the reconnaissance? Pistol, pistol, pistol questions. See you later. Jog on. Never said I was.
I thought, oh, you know. Oh, okay. you don't know. You don't know nothing. Well, what, what are you going to do? Nothing. None of your business. How about that? You're going to find out. None of your business. Ta da! F off. See you later. Foxtrot Oscar. Piss off. Whatever you want. Go away. You're dismissed, public servant. Bye bye. Yeah, nothing to say. Cheerio. You can't bully me, mate. Not going to work. I'm not trying to bully you. you. I'm trying to hold a conversation with you. I don't want a conversation with you. I'm telling you to go away. Yeah, but I don't have, so I I don't have to go away. Neither do I. And I can do that when I want. Yeah, no, I know. And I'm, I was asking you. Uh, and what, I'm telling what, what you, it is you are going to do. Mind your own business. Now what? Now what are you going to do? There you go. <laughs> Nothing. You no power. Is this police and by consent? Is it police and by consent? I told it's, you to go away and it, leave me alone. Yeah, it's not the consent of the I'm, individual. I'm it's the consent of the public at large. I'm harassed and distressed because you won't leave me alone to conduct my private you business. You obviously don't feel harassed and distressed. I do feel you've, harassed. You've made, you know what I feel. Because you, you've, you've made absolutely no effort. effort. You've, you've made Who no you? effort to move away. I don't need to move away. I'm a public place. You should move well, away. You can't, you can't You're be that harassed, alarmed or distressed, You're the public servant. I shouldn't have to. I shouldn't have to. I'm just saying. You're victim blaming again. Your actions don't Doesn't match matter. your words. Doesn't matter, you're victim blaming. You're victim blaming. If, if you felt that harassed and I'm stressed, I well, think you would I'm have moved you away, away from me. I'm telling you to go away. You're the public servant. You're the one that's causing this. The Crown Sir. Go away. Public servant. It's not true. Call up if you want me, I don't care, right? Go away. Bye bye. You've given me everything I needed. You made a fool of yourself. You made a fool of your force. It's a disgrace. Good job, on. See ya. Or do something. One of the two. There's a challenge. You big man. Do well, I could, something. I could just stay or here. Or weasel off back into your little station. Do what you want. What are you gonna do? Nothing. Now what? <laughs> You're making it better, you know that? Making what better? It's just everything. You're making it better for me, making it worse for yourself. In, in more respect? Just, just every respect. In, in every respect? Every respect, yeah. <laughs> you, you don't know, that's the thing. It's like, you, I think you genuinely don't know how idiotic you look and how much you're going to regret this. Seriously, because you could have come out and had a civil conversation. It all could have been avoided. Well, I tried to have a conversation. No, you, you didn't. You refused it every step of the way. No, no, to, you to backed hold orders at me. Like, like now. You backed orders at me. All the way through you this. You've not had like, a conversation. Because no, 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 you're not looking is, for a conversation. No, what happens is... I'll you're never looking to have a conversation. Or a discourse. Have you seen... Or any kind of debate. Have you seen any of my content before? Mm. No, I no. Well, there you go, Alex. How would you know? Because I can only go off how I've seen you right, stay. Right, right. I came out to talk to you. You told me, stop filming, get out, get out. I didn't say stop. You did. I you said, what are you doing? Right. What have you been filming? You told me to get out, put your hands on me, and you refused to answer eyes. any questions. If you hadn't to put your hands on you me, you refused to identify yourself. I don't need to identify myself. Yeah, no, I know you. Well, there you go then. So why is that a problem? Because I asked you to. But, but you I didn't. don't need to. Why do I need to do what you're doing? No, I know you don't need to. Well, there you go then. But again, we, we've received. Surprise, you're not waiting for section 43. I was waiting on that next. The hostile reconnaissance. I wasn't going to go for it. Were you not? You should have. That'd been another violation. I was saying how your actions were perceived by the people in this building. Where's the complaint, sir? Where's the statement taken? We haven't taken a statement. So there's no victim. You were talking about public nuisance, public order, harassing people, all that sort of stuff. There's no victim, there's no complaint, there's no statement. What are you talking about? That was your grounds for putting your hands on me and getting out of the building. Is it no. not? Yes, it was. No, yes, it, it was. It was, it was that a you're representative. You're harassing people going a, about. A representative seven, from within this building had asked you to leave. Name calls, several name calls, calls from people, people here um, feeling alarmed about your presence and what you're doing. That's what you said, all that carry on. All the same old jargon. And the problem is, yeah, is that we can sit here all day. You're never going to admit you're wrong because your ego's out of control. Because of the stupid uniform. That's the problem. Don't you understand? Not one point have you turned around, except when I showed you that footage, you said, yeah, you were right, I was wrong. You didn't even apologise on behalf of your colleague because your ego's out of control. You think you can tell people well, no, what he, they can he didn't say I witnessed that. He said I was told that. Right, and I says to him, I have footage to, to prove otherwise. Go and take the false police report uh, uh, complaint. Go and investigate that. You're supposed to be impartial. You're supposed to stand in the off today. You're clearly not doing that. Well, they didn't make an official complaint. They just said he so was in here problem, filming. Then? Oh, so they didn't make an official complaint. Well, that's, that's why it, I've come and asked you, and grounds. then you've shown me, and that's great. And you're using it as grounds to do whatever it is you want to do. You're a disgrace, man. Well, at not, that time, we had suspicion you, that that was what Not happened. once have you tried to apologise. You see I didn't harass anyone. You see I didn't get in anyone's face. You see I was just doing my own business. I've so said that part of it was true. Did you apologise? No. No, why not? 
because, because your ego's out of control. The way because they e- felt is still true. Feelings isn't hurting someone's feelings isn't committing a crime. No, it doesn't give you grounds to put your hands on someone. It doesn't commit. It doesn't, doesn't doesn't give you grounds to infringe on someone's rights, sir, just because I hurt someone's feelings. Are you the feelings police now? Is that what you're doing? You're you're you're, you're policing feelings. Partially, yes. Is it? Yeah. That's a joke. It's supposed to. A lot, a lot of the law brings that into. Is it right? Into okay, what, what part of the law? Okay, what's, what's fine. What feelings is made? Well, again, yeah, yeah. public order offences, stalking offences. It brings into the but feelings the, of the victim, the impact of, the okay. of them Who's on their the feelings. Who's the victim? There is no victim. You've told me that there is no victim. No, no complaint. No statement. There was a complaint. So who's the victim? Where's the statement? It What's was the well, allegation? I'm, I'm not going to. I'm not going to tell you who What's made the, the call. What's the allegation? I proved the allegation. I'm not. I'm not at liberty to give you those I proved, details. I proved the allegation. I proved yeah, what, on, what, on that what part, I was doing. But when the member of the council asked you to leave didn't and you refused to leave, to leave. Didn't ask me to leave. Yes, he did. No, he didn't. He was standing you know? right there. I said, "Do you want this person to leave?" He said, "Yes, I do." When you were there, they didn't ask me before that. Okay, and then you refused to leave. Right, it's so a public at that place. Point, it's a public place. I'll just you out. It's a public place. You are enforcing civil laws. It's not right. Police are not allowed to enforce civil laws. There was a directive about that. How about that? Okay, and, and, clear. And, and, and as you said, you're, you're going to follow... In official capacity, you cannot police civil laws. As you've said, you're going to follow that up with PSD. Yeah, you're screwed. And me. then I'll wait for their findings. You fuck big time. Big time. Now what? Okay. Now jog on. Ta-da. Walk a shame. Right. Mm. Thank you very much for your time. Fuck off. Day one. <laughs> Thank yeah, you. Yeah, walk a shame. Bye, you punk. <laughs> now what? Now I'm going into all the windows, you absolute moron. You buffoon of a man. You fucking disgrace. Get out of the force. You fucking disgrace to the uniform. Absolute tyrant. Walk a shame, ladies and gentlemen, because he sat there talking absolute pish, talking at his ass, talking absolute shit. He's fucking full of it. Sorry about the swearing, guys. I don't normally swear in my content, but I'm absolutely raging at the way I've been treated by that absolute moron. No fucking two brain cells to rub together. Put his hands on me, twisted my arm to force me out the building. So he's screwed now, the council. Hurts me the council, absolutely screwed. Now what? So obviously they've told me that I can't go back in. Challenge accepted. I'm just gonna pop in, say cheerio. And then start. I don't know, my business. A couple of locations I did want to go today, but this is going to be a long one, guys. Bye! Cheerio! Numpty! You're dismissed! You absolute buffoon of a man! Yeah, keep walking, punk. So, yeah. Went back out of the building, that was a sergeant. A tyrant of a sergeant. I wanted to give it a big one. But as I go back in, it does absolutely nothing. Guys, I'm, I'm going to move back on to the other device. Um, and uh, yeah, I'll catch you in a second.